Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF 1 gameplay video for the console ports. Previously, we got some footage of FNAF 1 running on Nintendo Switch, and just recently, we got some footage of it running on the Xbox One. So, we're not going to waste any time. The clip's not too long, it's only like two minutes. So, let's take a look at it and see if there's differences, similarities to what FNAF is on PC and what it's like on Switch. So, let's do it. Now, just like last time, there's going to be no face cam, so you guys can see all the footage along with me. Now, disclaimer, I don't, I've never used an Xbox One, so I don't even know what this screen is. I don't know if it's the store page or if it's the home menu. I'm a complete noob when it comes to Xbox One, but here it is. Launch, Five Nights at Freddy's, you can see the logo right there. It looks like that says Game Pass and all that other stuff. So, again, I don't even know how you open FNAF, but let's look. Alright, so here we have the, I'm guessing this is the new loading screen for the game, which is simply the image. This is, actually, this was the first ever FNAF teaser on scarcames.com, so this is pretty cool to have it as the loading screen. It's just Freddy with two endoskeletons behind him. And then, of course, it gives the warning about flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares. And then we cut to the main menu, which, just like the Nintendo footage, has unlocks in the bottom right corner of the screen. I still don't know what this means. I have a pretty strong feeling it's just going to be the plushies that you can get on your desk, which I believe were in the mobile version of FNAF, but were not in the PC version, so I feel like that's what it means. It's definitely not Custom Night, because we can see Custom Night right here, Sixth Night, Fifth Night, and then the person playing this has actually beaten the entire game, because they've gotten all three stars. But it seems like they're going to hit new game. And is that different music? It's kind of hard to hear, but I don't know if that's the same music. And then, of course, get the newspaper clip. And then first, night 12 a.m. Same as all the other um, PC and Nintendo Switch. That loading time was really quick, though. Doors and lights. Phone call. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So we actually get the hallucinations. Let's see if I can pause it on it. It's going to be difficult. Can, can you hear my mouse clicking? Too. Anyways, you've seen it. I don't believe we saw this in the Nintendo Switch footage, but that's going to be super, super interesting to see. And it makes me wonder, are we going to get more hallucinations in the other games on the console ports, such as Shadow Freddy, Shadow Barney, and the endoskeleton from FNAF 2, JJ under the desk, um, the Golden Freddy thing, figure in FNAF 3, and all those, you know, the FNAF 4 pills, the flowers, the IV thing. Are we going to get those, or is this just for FNAF 1. I feel like we're going to get those, so that is going to be super cool. And then of course, showing off the lights and doors again. There is no mute call button. There is, oh my god, yes. They do have the Freddy honk. I didn't go back farther. Oh no, there was a mute call up there. And then here are the cameras. Flipping through all of them, we can see the entire area, such as Pirate's Cove, the supply closet, and all the other cameras. And you can see just how easy it is to switch between all the cameras using either the triggers or the analog stick. Analog stick, I don't know which one it is on Xbox. Um, I wish I knew, so then I could tell you. 
don't know if it's the, I I don't know if it's the, gonna be the same controls as Switch, but I'm sure it's gonna be close. And then we can hear Freddy's little jingle. Don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but Freddy's jingle is playing. Kind of, kind of just sitting here now, listening to the phone call, and that's it. Oh, I personally don't have an Xbox One, but I'm sure that you guys that do are super, super excited for FNAF on the Xbox One, and I'm really fascinated to see what it's going to be like, not only on the Xbox, but also what it's going to be like on all the other consoles. PlayStation, mobile, mobile devices such as Apple and Android, like I said, Nintendo Switch, and the PS4. So, again, I'm super excited. There was no release date for these ports just yet, so keep your eyes out. Make sure you follow Click Team over on Twitter, it's going to be linked down below. So, when they do release more footage of the FNAF ports working on all the other, all the other devices, you can see it. But thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.